The recent shooting that left nine people dead at a South Carolina church has sparked the debate of gun restrictions. More specifically, the law when it comes to the right to carry a weapon. Are the laws enough to protect people? CBS 2 News reporter Dora Miller spoke with law enforcement to get their take on this controversial topic. Dora? Well, Scott, obtaining a concealed handgun license is a big responsibility. We spoke to two law enforcement officers who say tighter restrictions wouldn't change very much. It only takes a few qualifications to be able to carry around one of these. You must be legally allowed to own a gun, take online or classroom training, and fill out an application with valid identification. But Ernie Tra, who teaches concealed handgun courses in the corridor, says that's not the dangerous part. It's easy to blame a product when the hardest thing to do is say, we really can't predict the actions of people. Some still wonder whether the law is doing enough to keep people safe. Cedar County Sheriff Warren Weathington says not everyone who owns a gun is irresponsible. I don't believe restricting decent people's rights, it will never stop bad people from doing bad things. Uh, it just makes it more difficult for the decent people to protect themselves. There is no system you can put in place that will predetermine whether a bad guy would show up on this day and break three other laws to go inside a building and commit like an example the other day, nine more felonies. With the constant debate still raging, Tra says people should concentrate on the real problem. E evil's not something in your, you know, in your hand, it's in your heart. Now we'll have a link on our website with all the information and laws surrounding concealed handgun permits, including where you can and cannot carry in Iowa. Dora Miller, CBS2 News, 10 at 10.